Well, Quentin Tarantino is back in action with his ninth film, and this is clearly his love letter to the golden age of Hollywood in the 1960s era, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's right, we're going to talk about it real quick and do a quick little review. Now, I saw this movie yesterday, and I'm just going to come right out and say that I really enjoyed this film. I had a lot of fun. It was great. I think Leo and Brad put on some of the best performances of their careers, and they clearly stole the show. You know, my anticipation was pretty high to begin with because I'm a huge fan of of Tarantino and Pitt and I'm an even bigger Leo fan so yeah man I'm happy to say that my expectations were met and uh, this film was just an all-around blast to watch you know now I do have a big complaint about this film so let me go ahead and get it out of the way first I really thought this film was a little bit too damn long man it seems to be a common issue with a lot of people I'm seeing uh, I feel like you could have at least cut 30 minutes off this film and it still would have had the same impact but uh, I thought there was way too many driving around shots of characters in their cars I get it Tarantino wanted to showcase their recreated 1960s Hollywood environment, but come on, man. Way too many unnecessary driving shots. It got a little boring after a while. Also, I felt a lot of the scenes with Leo on the cowboy film set, they were good, but they just kind of drug on a little bit in parts. Uh, I don't know, man. It was just kind of like, eh, it was a little slow paced at times, but um, damn it. That's, dude, that scene of Leo bitching at himself in his trailer and throwing a fit was one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen in a movie. It was hilarious, man. I was in tears. But was the excessive length of movie killer for me? Absolutely not. I still love this film. I expected it to begin with, you know, because we all know Tarantino makes some long ass movies, but that's one of the things I love about this guy. He makes his own films the way he wants to. He doesn't let the studio come in and say, chop this shit down. We need it down to 90 minutes, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. He puts everything he wants on the screen and I commend him for that. You know, he's getting to do things his way, but, um, yeah, obviously, like I said, Leo and Brad were phenomenal in this movie. I thought the scene with the eight-year-old girl and Leo was fantastic. I love the subtle back and forth, just everyday conversation. You know, uh, Tarantino's so good at that. He's so good at making a standardized, random-ass conversation sound interesting. You know, you just, you're just drawn into it. You know, and as a filmmaker myself, I draw inspiration from scenes like that. So I really enjoyed it. Now let's talk Sharon Tate and the Manson family. Now, if you're not familiar with that incident, I'm not gonna explain it, so go Google it. Uh, I thought Margot Robbie did a great job in this movie, but I also thought the Sharon Tate character in the whole subplot was a little bit useless to the film. Um, it was still enjoyable, but I, I get why Tarantino included it. And uh, I'm gonna delve into some spoilers real quick, so if you don't wanna know what happens, just turn it off right here. But um, yeah, I loved the ending. The twist was excellent. I'm, I'm sure like a lot of people, I thought the film was going to build up to the climax where Tarantino would recreate the infamous murder of Sharon Tate and her friends. Uh, I didn't really want to see it, but I felt like that's where it was going. So I was pretty damn elated and overjoyed to see Tarantino rewrite history and just go in a completely different route. You know, I'm not really going to get into what happens, but I think it was one of the best endings to a film I've ever seen. It was fucking incredible. Uh, it was actually a total Tarantino ending too, in my opinion. Just like the Inglorious Bastards, where he kind of rewrote history as well. And I told myself, I was like, hey, you should have seen this coming, knowing Tarantino. But uh, yeah, it was great. I laughed my ass off the entire sequence, and it was well worth the long wait to the climax. But um, yeah, overall, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a fun ride. I laughed all throughout this movie. Leo and Brad were hilarious, and they were definitely on their A-game. Their chemistry is without a doubt exceptional. But, uh, but yeah, the climax was incredible. The humor was great. The locations, the production value, the visuals, it was all just, it was a great movie. And uh, I think this film will definitely make its way to the top of my Tarantino rankings. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of a 10, and I highly recommend going to see it. We're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.